Okay, number 12 of yes. the 24 demands, adopt and implement the 2019 livability and safety platform proposal submitted by the South Minneapolis Public Safety Coalition to the City Council. Yes. Say that 10 times fast. Um, so yeah, what, what, what is, what is, uh, what is the, the 2019 livability and safety platform proposal? So when I met Tabitha Montgomery, she's the executive director of the Potterhorn Park Neighborhood Association. PPNA, yes. She, one of the first things that she told me was, she's like, Janelle, she was like, we did this uh, uh, livability and safety platform with this coalition of folks who did research for over the period of three years to figure out what does our community need in mm -hmm. order to be able to have safety, okay. um, to be able to live, to be able to thrive. And she's like, yeah. we, we presented it to the city council in December 2019. Yeah. And it was, uh, uh, um, this, I say dismissed. She'd probably say a word more so like it was set aside, right? <laughs> um, but I, it's one of those things where she said, you know, if the city had uh, uh, adapted or adopted this livability and safety platform, if they actually funded for these jobs uh, to have liaisons working throughout South Minneapolis, yeah. if they had actually uh, responded to the three years of research that went in to help increase the safety of South Minneapolis, yeah. would George Floyd have been murdered on May 25th, uh, 2020? That's a great question. It's a great question. Right? Yeah. Ha had we had the systems um, in place, hello. hello. How, how do we have the systems in place to help our community live and thrive and go forward? Would, um, would it have been a different context yeah. in that moment, right? Mm -hmm. And so the fact that that livability and safety platform was ignored in December 2019, yeah. um, and, and then here we are with an uprising in summer 2020, yeah. um, part of the reason why we put that back on the table is to challenge the city to say, you need to take seriously when we do three years of research yeah, and yeah. ask our community members of what is needed and what uh -huh. needs to be done for us to grow and rise together, then the city needs to take that seriously. Exactly. Now, when we had talked to uh, Council Vice President Jenkins on that, her uh, understanding of the uh, livability and safety platform was that it was really just about cleaning up Lake Street. Oh. And so I was like, uh, I don't think you read the full thing. Like, <laughs> Because when you actually read the document, it's also available online. Uh -huh. When you read the document, it really is covering, I think it was like 270 blocks. Like it was, wow. it was huge. Like the, the yeah, space. Yeah, that's, that's more than Lake Street. It's more than Lake Street. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. more than Lake Street. And it's really, and then it also provides jobs in the neighborhood. So yeah. when we're looking at people being able to live and work in the same place. Yes. Um, that matters. That matters for livability and safety. And th this is something that city council could pass right now. This is something that the city council could pass. I mean, they're going to say, well, we don't have any money to pass it because it, it, they, the, <laughs> when you read the document, the estimated total is $10 million. Okay. But $10 million is a drop in the bucket compared to what people, what, what money comes in. Yeah. Um, for the, for, to the city. Well, or, it, or they can go out and find grants and there's different things that can be done. Yeah. $10 million is not a lot of money it's when you're looking at, at the scope of the city. Exactly. It, ten, ten, it costs tens of millions of dollars to bring in the National Guard for a day. Right. So. Hey, <clears throat> we're asking for more as protesters than the $10 million that they asked for in December 2019. So. Yes, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> like, there you go. Like the there price tag inflation is real. <laughs> yeah, no, this could happen right now. The city Council the, could do this right now. Right, price tag keeps going up. So yeah, if they had listened to uh, community leaders, neighborhood executive directors, mm -hmm. um, people that are respected within the community who did the work for three years, uh, we might not be where we are today. And so that piece is a huge piece of justice. Yeah. Um, because it's actually saying there was a wrong by yeah. dismissing that. Yes. And making right that wrong, justice yes. is actually addressing the livability and safety platform and, and, and implementing it. Okay, and if we find an article for the 2019 safety and livability platform, we'll put that in the, the, the links below. But yes, thank you for educating us do. on that. Oh, you're yeah. very, very, very welcome. Yeah, all right.